Hi guys, I'm back with another page kit share. This is page kit number nine. I'm going to use Simple Stories uh, paper stack. It's from the Carpe DM line. I decided that I'm going to frame that or offset it or something. I don't know yet, but I wanted to use those two papers. Whether it is to mat it like this, I thought the edge would look really cute with the black and white. I like this uh, Monday through Sunday strip. I might cut them up to put them all over the page uh, or to use the element just as an anchoring strip at the bottom. I'm not sure yet. I decided to put, pull out several different colors of doilies, uh, either like in a peachy color, in a white color, or this uh, pink one if I decide to use one of each. I did pull out some cut apart elements from the uh, Carpe DM line. I did this um, arrow. I did this typewriter. I cut out several little heart shaped elements. And I'm going to fussy cut these. They're just kind of cut out. This little house, this today circle, which would go great with all those other weekdays. Uh, a little pin to kind of pin down the the photograph and even I might even use some glossy accents with that here's some more hearts here's a floral cutout that I might fussy cut down some more and of course a camera and I was thinking of kind of using it like this with the quote to uh, anchor the photograph and then putting I know layering the camera the flowers on this side maybe fussy cut of course and then uh, this down here uh, this uh, typewriter down here with the Carpe Diem Seize a Day Make Your Life Extraordinary quote from Robin Williams. So those are the flatter elements that I have. I might put in this hello and just kind of lay it like that or make a, a hidden journaling in the back. I'm not sure. Uh, there's nothing really too deep about this photo. It just says about, I just kind of want to recount all these uh, events that happened in the photographs. I pulled out two sheets from the Teresa Collins uh, Studio Gold Matchbook sticker labels. And the reason why I pulled this one is uh, instead of just trying to use this is because I really like this label with the two stars on the ends. But I'm going to try and use this one first before I move on to this sheet. <laughs> But that's my reasoning in whenever I pull out stuff like this. I do have the rest of the book. It hasn't been used except for those three labels in the whole book. So um, I'm going to try and use some of that up. I also found this bow, which I don't know if you can. There you go. That might be better. I found that bow. I found this enamel shape. And these are from the Paper Studio Hobby Lobby clearance sale. I found these at Tuesday morning and I kind of like that laugh, love, life, or maybe even the happy. I might even put all four of them on there just to finish that up. I found these uh, cute resin flowers with the chipboard, gold chipboard backed circles or flowers or whatever. And then I thought that would be, this would be a cute addition to pepper around the page. And that's a birthday bash uh, sequin mix from Pink Paisley that I won from State Goddesses 500 subby uh, giveaway. I found these Mambi sticks and I like the different colors of the pinks or the Love You or the So Awesome. I thought uh, any of these would be a great addition. And then lastly, I found the Carpe Diem washi paper tapes that I might incorporate. These are striped but they also have a few circle elements so they work uh, great on both sides and it would bring in more patterns from the Carpe Diem line. So that's my uh, page kit share number nine. If you have any questions, comments, leave them down below as always and thanks so much for watching. We'll see you in the process video for page kit number nine. Bye!